Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back. How y'all doing? So guys, today we're going to be doing a little mukbang and a little celebrity gossip, yes. So as you guys know, Kimora Lee Simmons' house caught on fire, so we're going to listen to it and then we're going to talk about it. shared a harrowing incident on social media, revealing that her house had caught fire. Despite the frightening ordeal, she expressed gratitude that her family is safe and thanked the Los Angeles Fire Department for their heroic efforts. Simmons posted an image of the fire department in front of her smoke-filled fireplace, acknowledging the numerous battalions, ladders, and units that came to their rescue. She concluded her post with a heartfelt thank you to the first responders who potentially saved their lives. Entrepreneur Kimora Lee Simmons recently shared a heroin so her house caught fire and I think where it caught fire at is the chimney and you know a lot of people were like oh where was he did he go this is um oh he probably had something to do with it no um people have lives and stuff happens in your life I'm so tired of people thinking just because a person did some bad stuff that every time something happens it was him it was him. Ooh, P. Diddy did it. No. It's just stuff happens. Like, sometimes if you got electrical cords everywhere, something can, can spark and it can have a fire, start a fire. But hers was at the, uh, they had a uh, fireplace and the fire probably got out of control and that's what happened. Stop letting people um, lead you guys into no man's land thinking that every time something bad happened that dude did it no but i am glad that everybody like her and her kids are safe and nobody got hurt because i've heard some about some fires and it was devastating devastating but thank god that was that but I didn't know Kamora Lee Simmons had five kids I just thought she had um the two girls and the boy but you have five kids And her darker complexed kids. They gonna always have this blame. Especially when they start dating and stuff. And they call I'm biracial. And they probably gonna look on biracial. Like, yeah, my mom's Asian. Or half Asian. I'm probably like, yeah, all right. Smart people be like, oh, okay. But people that don't know a lot, a lot of stuff and then if they don't do no research or anything, those are people that are going to be like, oh, uh oh, uh. Seriously? Uh uh. -oh, you lying. You lying. And he's like, no, I'm not lying. Like, I am biracial. Oh, yeah, but I didn't know. When I heard about her house caught on fire, and I seen all these kids, I was like, She only had three kids. Yeah, had five kids. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all what I was eating. Corn with just a little bit of butter and lemon seasoning and herbs. And some hokey fish. Hot tartar sauce. And I got cocktail sauce. Mm. And the corn is so good. Mm-hmm. But yeah, a lot of people were like, mmm, pretty dirty. Where was he at? Mm-hmm. It has something to do with that. I wonder if Russell. I wonder if he called. Cause even though I know that uh, <clears throat> the relationship is kind of. It's kind of um, rocky. Cause I I remember her her um, I remember his daughter had came up. Let me see. Entrepreneur Kamor. Let me see if I can find that video. He wasn't an innocent. He didn't do. About um daughter. So this is Kamora Lee Simmons, and um, this is Storm Monroe. If you don't know, he he has a whole channel. He does a lot of celebrity gossip. So go over there and um, subscribe to his channel. He does good commentary. Um, it says Kamora Lee Simmons exposes Russell for being a broke deadbeat who is hiding. Uh, um, so you guys know my kids. My kids have worked at the UN. My kids are ambassadors of the world. My kids speak multiple languages. Like I said, my mm -hmm. youngest daughter is the youngest kid to graduate in modern his recent history from an Ivy League school. You know, I'm a little upset, so I know I'm probably rambling and leaving out parts and jumping all over the place. I'm sorry, y'all can hang up, I love you. you. I know everybody's gonna be calling me later. But you all know for sure that my kids are not brainwashed. So I thought that was crazy that people actually started to believe that because I could see the messages and the comments and, oh, sorry. And sometimes people just wanna have something to say and I understand that too. So today, the whole topic, and I thought about people, all my friends in the industry and who I could call and what media people I could talk to about this and who do I go to talk about this. And I thought about this all the time, but I never really have, you know, the right person and it's never really come to me. So I just thought I'd turn on my thing here and say this, but for someone to imply mm. that my kids are brainwashed uh, because they honored... Um, the job or the duty that their mom fulfills on a daily basis, 365 days a year, 24-7, is crazy. No one's brainwashed. You guys can go and see, you know, no one's delusional. Um, hold on one second. Wolfie? Yeah. I love you. What are you doing? You, 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 are you trying to play in heel, mom? Okay, but I, can I just do this little quick interview and then you can come right back? Okay, only because I don't want to just... Okay, I love you. Okay, I love that. Come back, okay? Her kids are well-behaved. Well-behaved. Most people's kids, you tell them to leave the room, 
they start crying, whining. But you can tell her kids are very disciplined. He got up and left. So let me just read my comments. Look at my crazy big movie screen, you guys. That's actually a movie screen. It's huge. It's like the biggest one. One of the biggest ones I could find. Mm. And it has a direct throw projector. So that projector shoots right up to that screen and super close. Anyway, uh -uh. we're not going to get into all of our tech gadgets. But what was I saying? <laughs> so you all know that my um, kids are not brainwashed. Uh, those of you that know me here also know um, what kind of parent I am. I have been a parent pretty much all my life. Yeah, I, got that I my was a very too. young, um, I'm not probably sure. too young uh, bride. So I had these kids very early. And you guys know how much my family means to me and you know how much my kids mean to me and you guys know all of you that know me absolutely know what kind of um mother i am and what kind of family dynamic i have over here um i think it's very important for you all to know um if you look back in our history i have always been the type of co-parent you know, we were actually very famous for our co-parenting abilities and, you know, how we always put the good face forward and the good foot forward to the world. So you guys know that. If you pay attention to the time frame um, of things, you will see that some years ago, recently, um, this ex in question... Uh, brought a lawsuit against me and my and my family um, a completely frivolous lawsuit um, where he accused me of all kinds of crazy stuff like um, crazy stuff like embezzling you know laundering defrauding all these things again everybody that knows me knows that nothing could be like further from the truth clearly I'm sitting right here in my home Right, there's no, you know, none of that. I didn't flee the country. I don't run. I don't have to hide from anybody. I did. Mm. I heard he did leave the country. Yeah, somebody said the rock was coming. So he's a punch with. And this guy, he also stepped down from the business. But somebody said allegedly he had a lawsuit against him. But that's that. So, if he does, he has to come to court. You used to be in the court, you just can't, cannot come. <clears throat>
years, they stop kind of uh, seeing their dad as much. And also, again, I have five kids, so I've always been like, you know, an open book. We, all my other kids consider, I mean, terms of life, consider Russell to be, um, considered him to be at one point in time like an uncle. We were all very close. Um, and that goes for all my baby dads, by the way. There's evidence of that. You can see them, you know, on various far and few between events, but you can see them sometimes like on the red carpet and you'll see one person with all the kids, right? We get along like a family, like friends, like whatever. So you'll notice that all of this down talking and all of this stuff started to take a turn around these past couple of years, I think coinciding with that lawsuit. But I just want to come and say, you know, and I never get into this. I usually let people go and rant and rave. It's funny, though, how this particular person in question, because I could go in on a, a few of them, one by one. Um, but it's funny how this particular person, if you, again, go look back, you'll see on their page that they post all these pictures, like we're together, like we're friends. They've even posted pictures and then said, like, I just got off the phone with my kid. They sent me this great picture. None of that's true. I like receipts, so of course I have text messages, I have messages from all my kids, you know, you can go and see. I think the bottom line, like probably the breaking point for all of this was uh, over the past many months um, when their dad just sort of cut them off. Um, he was contributing a little bit of cash to their like monthly, you know, college spending not much, a couple hundred dollars, probably maybe $500, maybe a little more. Again, all these things can be, you know, proven with receipts. I, li I love receipts, so folks can always go and get receipts and show over the years. Um, $500? How much is he worth? That's what I don't get about um <clears throat> about some of that about those celebrities and stuff. And when you find out they made all that money and they only paying but so much for their kids, it's crazy. You making all that money? Why don't you just put a fund up for them? Instead of doing five hundred dollars here, maybe five hundred dollars there. Why you don't just take a lump sum of money and just put it in a trust for them? That's what happened with Michael Jackson and his kids. They don't have to. They don't have to work if they don't want to. I mean, they can, I mean, some, some, some of those celebrity kids, they have their own dreams. It ain't, it ain't just about what their parents did. Because a lot of them are doing different things than what their parents did. It's all in <coughs> what they want to do. But that's crazy. Old school hip hop heads and how you should honor them, which I believe you should. 
Uh, but he was saying to the guy, like, I'm so rich, I got this and I got that, and I'm this and that. None of that could be further from the truth. You know, he has turned around, and then again, I have records and evidence of this, where he's told the kid in writing, we have his text messages, I'm broke, I this, I that, I can't, you know, go get it from your mom. Now, meanwhile, I have been financially carrying this person probably for the last at least 10 years, myself and my ex-husband. Wow. That's crazy to be hearing that. Oh, why would you cut your kids off? I don't understand that. Why would you cut your kids off? This stuff like this make make um it makes me sad. I don't like to hear stuff like that. I don't like to hear stuff like that. That's 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 not right. That's wrong. And it seems like he did it because he was mad at her. But come on, man, you can't take that out on your kids. He know he's wrong for that. Look at that. This is all proven with receipts, so whatever. Somebody doesn't like what I'm saying, you know, we can talk about it. We can come. We can open up our receipts. I, I love it. I love receipts. Um, but I've taken care of this person to the tune of many, many, many millions of dollars to help with their bills, their overhead, their companies that they run into the ground, their unsuccessful bids, all of their stuff. Um, I don't necessarily speak for my kids, but I think I could take probably a good shot at it. They're sleeping right now because it's not even 8.30 in the morning. Somebody said, who is she talking about? Girls, you you women, must be, young you must not know anything, ladies. Um, I think that was a very, that was very tough for them, that their dad like kind of cut them off and cut off conversation and cut off trying, helping them and even said things to them like why did you go to college you shouldn't have gone to college you wasted that money you could have saved it while I'm up here trying to hustle the kids over the finish line you know it uh, that was crazy it's just been so many things that kind of negate what I'm trying to do over here in my house again hey how's it going Sean Cannell here from Think Media if you want to give an unfair advantage in a very competitive youth and like I live in Beverly Hills California you know I go between New York and L.A. People know how to find me. They know how to see me. I see people walking up and down the street all day, every day. Um, I'm just not going to tolerate this from someone who's not on the street walking around every day. Um, they are, like, I don't know, apparently, like, hiding under a rock someplace far away in another country. You know, again, these girls are adults. They are young adults. Um, I typically try to be very friendly and amicable with all my baby daddies, whatever. But I think it comes a time when you guys have to ask yourself, why are these women, young women, um, not supportive or not really trying to hear that? Or what have they gone through? What have they seen that they, you know? That is true, because it's a lot of women coming out talking about what they, they seen and what they heard that's going on in that industry. And... It's great. It's crazy to hear their stories, <coughs> and a lot of people. A lot of people is mad at certain people for taking money and not going to trial. But you have to understand, some people don't want to go through the emotional, that emotional stuff again. They are uh, already been through it. They don't want to be on the stand telling them what was done to them and just bring back all that pain again. Some people would rather settle it. Look, you did this to me. Give me my compensation. Give me what I'm owed for the trauma that 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 you caused to me and that I had to suffer. And that's it. Then they go on about their business and live their life. But yeah, this is crazy to hear this. This is for more Lee Simmons.
Um, exposing uh, Russell Simmons. And saying that he cut he cut his own kids off. He cut his own kids off. He wouldn't help him. This is what she's alleging. He wouldn't help him. He said she has receipts. He said, but he wouldn't help him no more with their school. And he, he just cut him straight off and told her, you deal with it. That's crazy. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it, but. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. It was a pleasure having you guys here. The meal was wonderful, but, you know, <laughs> I got to get over here. After my food service, I got to get over here, put my workout clothes on, and get to these two workouts because, hey, honey, sister girl ain't going for the swole belly. <laughs> so, I will see you guys in another one. Always like and subscribe to my channel. Always hit that bell notification so you can know each and every time your girl uploads another video. I love you guys. Always thinking about you. Until next time, it is your girl. Reset me. And join me again for more mukbangs and celebrity gossip. See you guys later. Bye-bye.